Hey guys, welcome back for another review. Today I am going to be talking about the China Glaze Halloween collection for fall 2021. It's the extra stellar collection. I love that China Glaze comes out with Halloween collections every year. It's just kind of fun and unique. And the names on these polishes are really funny and cute and I think you guys are going to like them. These were sent to me from China Glaze as a gift and they are available at Beyond Polish right now. I think they're like $4.60 or $4.50 a bottle which is a really great price. I have a coupon code also that you can add to that. It's Golari10 and I will put that here so you can see it and I will put a link down to all the polishes in the description down below. Before we get more into it I am going to tell you what I have on my lips because I always get asked and it's burgundy blush and it's a matte lipstick from Maybelline. I love these matte lipsticks. They're the ones with these kind of matte, what do you know, a matte lid. <laughs> <laughs> I own a lot of them. Let's just say that. So that's what I'm wearing and I'll put a link to that down below as well. Okay, so let's get into the collection. There's a few shimmers in here. There's some duochromes. There's a holographic and a few of these surprise me. You guys know I don't love shimmers and metallic polishes all that much, uh, but there are a few in here that I really like and I think they will be kind of fun to wear on Halloween. So maybe I will. Uh, I'm branching out a little bit. It's kind of fun to branch out, right? I hope you guys are trying to branch out too because it's it's kind of fun to not stay in your bubble all the time and try something new. So I'm getting better at it, that's for sure. I have no comparisons for these. I'm just going to show them to you. I really don't have any that are similar. I might add one to one shade so you guys can see the difference in some polishes that I have that are pretty similar. But these other ones are pretty unique to my collection at least. The first one we have is Holy Shift and that name is just hilarious and I really like it a lot. And it's a silver to purple duochrome. It also has kind of like a little green shift in there too that these always typically do. And it does have more of a silver base which was kind of interesting when I painted on my nail. It's a little bit softer and lighter than some of the other ones that I've tried that are similar to this. This is the one that I I mentioned that I might do a comparison to and I think I will add that to the end so you guys can see that. I do have a few polishes that are kind of close to this one but I feel like this one is a little bit lighter and softer. The formula on this one's really great. It does have kind of a metallic quality to it so you are going to see a little bit of streaking when you have that silver color underneath. So that's one thing that sometimes I don't really enjoy. It's not super strong but it's definitely there. I know some of the other silver polishes that you can get that are kind of shimmery and glittery and metallic you can really see those strokes really really strongly but this one you can just see them a little bit. It does have a nice formula though. I felt like I got it opaque in two coats and it built up really nicely. I also want to mention too a lot of these and you might even see it as I'm swatching them. Uh, the polish tends to run down the handle and I'm not sure why it does that. With China Glaze maybe it's because the formula is a little bit thinner but I did have that issue a little bit so just be aware of that and if it does that um, you just kind of scoop it up from your nail and wipe it off on the side of your bottle and then continue to polish. So I had to do that a couple times as I was applying them and I can't remember if I refilmed that or just left it to show you guys but I just thought I'd mention that. So there's that one. little green invaders again that name is just adorable I love it so much and this is kind of a cool polish it's a duo chrome it shifts from green to bronze which is really cool I think that green once you paint it on is really strong and really shows through it's it's definitely got a lot of shimmer and this one is maybe a little bit streaky too just like the other duo chrome that I talked about last time but it's got a really strong green flash and then as you shift your nail sometimes you will see a hint of that bronze it's got a nice formula as well it's going to build up in two coats I thought it was really interesting and definitely fun for Halloween it definitely had a Halloween vibe now 
Next we have now Ernova and it's a red copper shimmer. This one's really interesting and I actually really liked this one quite a bit. It has a really rich deep base and then this kind of burgundy, I want to say auburn because it's kind of like a red brown. It's a red brown shimmer that really stands out and makes a good contrast between the dark background which is almost kind of black. It's really interesting. I liked it quite a bit. I think it's so moody and a little bit edgy and so I think that's why it makes it a good Halloween color. I really found this one to be fun and I really actually enjoyed it on my nails. It made them look so shiny and when I add that top coat it just brings out that shimmer even more. This one has a really great formula. All of these are going to build up nicely in two coats. I think this was maybe even a one coater but I did two for this one like I always do and I really enjoyed this one and this was definitely one that surprised me. I really found myself enjoying this one. keep it realm and I thought this one was going to be pretty close to that last one but this one has the deep blue red shimmer it's really cool so the base in it is almost kind of like navy blue and then it's got a really rich kind of purpley red shimmer that comes through so this one was really cool too and really moody and edgy probably even a little edgier than the last one that I just talked about but I really enjoyed this one too as I was applying it, I was like, ooh, that's really cool. And I don't know why I don't find myself wearing these. Maybe I should just really go for it this fall and try them. But it's, it's really, really cool. I can see a lot of you really, really enjoying these last two. have purple tonium. It's this beautiful purple shimmer that dries down matte and I really like China Glaze's matte polishes quite a bit. They came out with a few last year. One green one that I can't think of the name but I'll put it here that I really really enjoyed. It's such a good polish and so I think it's fun that they added this purple one too. It's definitely a Halloween shade this bright purple. I don't know any other time that I would wear a really bright purple like this just because I'm not a super bright purple person but I know a lot of you are. You can leave it matte or you can add a top coat and anytime you add a top coat it's going to bring out those shimmers and going to make it look really beautiful and add a little bit of dimension. So I thought this one was really cool. she's so extraterrestrial and this is so beautiful you guys it's a beautiful green almost like a soft sagey green with a little bit of gray in it and it's a holographic polish and it's got silver glitter in there as well it's really just so pretty I'm really liking holographic polishes more than I thought I definitely need to try to wear them more though I think this color is what really grabbed me though because I really gravitate towards greens like this you guys know that and I love this one I think this might be the star of the collection uh, if you really like holographic polish Polishes. Okay, so let's pick my favorites. Okay, I'm gonna only pick two. I'm gonna really try to just pick two out of the six polish collections, although sometimes I pick them all. <laughs> but this one, for some reason, I feel like I can only pick a couple. So these are the ones that I picked. I picked Keep It Realm and She's So Extraterrestrial. So this is the darker that was kind of red to blue shifting just because I loved it. And if I think about Halloween, this would be one that I would wear because it's definitely kind of moody and edgy. And so I really liked that one. And then this holographic green just because I really love the color tone of this one. So which ones are your favorite? Are there any you've picked up or any that you want to? I'll put a link down below if you guys want to pick those up. I think they really do have a great price. Let me know what you think about these Halloween collections and 
if you like these kind of shifty shimmery shades. Thanks again for joining me. Thanks for liking and subscribing and always commenting. You guys are the best. We'll see you at my next review.